Chapter One: A Boy in the Chest. On an autumn day around 350 BCE, darkness fell over Benaru, present-day Mapu's home. Two men were pulling and pushing a cart in a lonely alleyway. The cart was loaded with three medium-sized chests. The men who were moving the carts seemed somewhat nervous. The cart went into the house of Sasa, one of the biggest merchants in Benaru, a middle-aged man with imposing stature. He politely greeted the two men who drove the cart, and they picked up one of the three chests and carried it into the living room of his house. Even though there were two guards watching outside, Sasa looked around the house once more. And nodded to the two men who brought in the chest. Two men rushed into the chest and thrust stone axes into a crack there to disassemble the chest. It was filled with straw, and surprisingly, out of the straw, a young boy of about six or seven years of age appeared. The boy recognized one of the men who had opened the box by the candlelight, and apparently relaxed, fell into his arms. "It's okay, it's okay, it's all over now. You did a great job putting up with it." Holding the child in his arms, the young man patted the child on his head and comforted him in a soft voice. The merchant hurriedly led them into an inner room that led directly from his living room. He said he will help them move to a safer place the next morning. As soon as the young man lay down on the clean, soft futon with a pleasant smell of starch, he seemed to fall asleep right away. But the little boy couldn't sleep easily. Hidden in a dark chest from early morning until a little while ago, barely seeing the light of day, he was loaded onto ships and onto wagons. The only thing he could do to get through that time more easily was to sleep. He had repeatedly slept and woke up almost all day, so it's only natural that he could not get to sleep easily at the end of such a day. From the window. He could see the half moon of October. The moonlight dimly revealed the boy's face, good-looking and elegantly shining, like well-shaped jade. Shiny forehead, thick eyebrows, straight nose, tightly closed yet cutely plump lips. The boy's name was Buye, and he was seven years old. He was born in Yijin Village, present-day Yijin-ri, Bukpyeongmyeon, Hanamgun, Jeollanamdo, Korea, and had never left the village before this trip. But that day, he said goodbye to his hometown and came to Hanjashi, present-day Seoul. The young man lying next to him in a deep sleep was his uncle Hoye. He hid him in a box and secretly took him out of his hometown and brought him here to Hanjashi. There was a reason why he traveled such a long distance in such an unusual way at such a young age. That was because of the dramatic changes that had taken place in the village in no longer than five months since the beginning of last summer. In the mind of Buye, who lay awake looking up at the moon, the events of those five months unfolded as if he were watching a video.